Well, right now, I am working on another book. And I want to show you two tools that I use to pull the book together uh, that have made it really easy for me. Uh, and those two, two, two tools are Zotero, which is to collect all my notes and my citations, and Scrivener, which is what I use to um, actually write the document. So let me show you those two particular tools. The first tool that I want to show is Zotero. So in Zotero, what I have done is I've collected a lot of different references and books that I want to use, and I've added notes to them. So the first part was adding the book with all the citation information, and then I have added various notes. So in this case, I've added notes about Evernote and using it for conferences and important information about using Evernote. So now I've done that with each of those references and I'm pretty much at a good place. And I initially started, so I have a, a notebook set up for that set of references and I have four more that I'm going to do research on. And once I've done research on these particular notes, what I'll do is I'll drag them into my review. So this is how I particularly use it, is I set up a subfolder saying, okay, I've reviewed that note, and I've added notes to it, and I'm going to then remove it from the collection. And it'll warn me, so it removes it from this collection, but it will be part of this overall collection. So now, as I'm looking at these uh, particular notes, where was I? I had a bunch of, oh, take a moment. Here you go. So I have a bunch of notes in here. So now I'm at the phase where I've done my research, I've got all my notes, and I'm going to move it back over to move it into the next program called Scrivener. So what I'll do is it's a multi-step process. Is First, I will go to that particular note. And each of these is really a subnote on that topic. So I'll highlight it and I will copy it with, uh, you know, the normal uh, control C to copy it. And the next thing I'll do is I'll go over to the writing tool, which is called Scrivener. And so here I've already started on a set of notes. And so what I'll do is I'll add a new note. And so I can then go ahead and paste that note. And if I wait a second, it'll change the title. It initially said untitled, and it'll change the title here, and that's good. And because I've taken that from a reference, I want to make sure that I get the right citation or footnote for that. So I will return to Zotero, and I will select the reference and when I right click on it one of the options is I can create a bibliography item and it looks something like this and I'm gonna be working out of Chicago so I want a full note and I'm gonna copy it to the clipboard and I want notes as opposed to bibliography and I'll select OK then I will return to Scrivener and I will select my note and hit the comments and footnote tool which allows me to add a footnote and I simply paste that footnote in. So now that is uh, attached to this. So let me go down to the end of my notes and let's go do, I'm going to do a couple because I'm working with the same reference I found it saves time that if I just go to the next item, I'll copy that, return to Scrivener, and add a new note. So I can right click on this and select add, but I know the shortcut for this is control N, so I use that. So if you can learn to use your keyboard, that helps out a lot. So as you can see, it says untitled here. I go in and paste my note. I'll wait a second and that'll add that. 
And I will go now to Scrivener and get my other note that was in there. And, or to Zotero, and I'll go back to Scrivener and do Control N again. And paste that note in there. And then I will go back and get the reference. And normally I would do it for the whole set and then get my reference, but I will be cutting this video short. So once again, Chicago, copy the clipboard, and go back to Scrivener, select that particular note, add my reference, go to the other one, select the note, add the reference. And so now, when, while working in Scrivener, what I can do is I can look at um, at my notes and I have one say for the web clipper and I decide that that's going to be a way to collect information and there it is I have the web clipper there so I'll, I'll go down to my note and I'll drag it up and drop it into the web clipper and then later I can start working on those particular notes and seeing uh, how to organize those but right now um, that's how I'll do it so first thing I'll do is I'll uh, keep working back and forth with Zotero to Scrivener pull all my notes in make sure that they are referenced properly and then I will go reorganize them and start getting into the writing process and that's pretty much um, how I go about kind of my writing process. Uh, there's few previous steps that I may talk about, but uh, this is it, so going back and forth. Catherine Pope, she does a great job. She uh, takes it to an entirely different level. Um, however, the recommendation that she has, uh, the tool has not been updated for Zotero 5, so we have to wait to get that updated. But I, I will point you in the blog post to Catherine Pope's uh, information where you can really take it to a next level. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up below. If you have any comments that you would like to add uh, or any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, go ahead and add those to the comment sections. And if you're not a subscriber, I would encourage you to subscribe. But most importantly, I would like to thank you for taking time to watch this video.